the afternoon. Uh, it is uh, Thursday, February the 25th. I'm back in the reading nook. It's a bright, um, cool, uh, but slightly windy day, as you can hear from the chimes around me. I'm back in the reading nook. I have um, a unboxing to do. Uh, this doesn't come through the post. Uh, it has been dropped off by uh, my friendly neighbourhood um, gaming supplier, uh, Neve of Wayland's Forge. Um, who uh, essentially keeps me um, uh, basically my shelves filled with books uh, when I'm not working on that myself. Um, so uh, it's going to be easy to open, um, and I know what it is, of course, because. Um, and opening up, uh, let's see if I can keep hold of this. What we have is that. Right, this is that, I have to, yeah, the box is a little flimsy, but what we have in here um, is the Altered Carbon uh, role-playing game. This is the limited edition, which I decided to uh, uh, um, splash out on. Um, and as you can see, that's quite something. That's really quite in, uh, um, uh, effective, it's quite, you know, basically, that's quite... I would say that has impact when you look around it. You go, what's that? Um, it has uh, its slipcase. The slipcase is um, cut out like that, uh, which reminds me of something like the uh, Werewolf, uh, the Forsaken uh, role-playing game uh, back in the early 90s when you basically you had the claw mark across the cover. So um, I am going to go even further. I am going to actually remove the book from its slipcase, so uh, let's just get my fingers underneath the uh, plastic. Oh, and off it comes. Let's go for that. Put more plastic there. So there we go. And that out and that's you can see just how that's nice and sturdy and then uh, this is published by uh, Renegade Game Studio um, based upon uh, the television series sorry the Netflix series of the same name and the books by um, Richard Morgan which are sort of like um, the when they're noir mysteries um, initially uh, set in a future where it is possible to uh, sleeve one person from the next. So you essentially you can take your consciousness, consciousness store it, uh, and then put it into a whole new body. Um, that help. Um, um, let's just pull that out of the way. Um, told you it was windy. Um, and um, that was first kind of looked, explored with... Um, uh, a role-playing game called Eclipse Phase, which I highly recommend. Um, again, which is another cyberpunk sort of game. You can have cyberware where in it, but it, it's it's a um, uh, pre-singularity um, science fiction role-playing game. Um, it's also very good. But anyway, Altered Carbon. I've got, um, so flipping through this, um, there we go. Um, looking for. Just have a look, see. Nope, there's nothing basically. It's just a piece of paper, which is basically on the cover to see what it is. There's nothing on the back, so there is no blurb. It is blurbless. Because um, I do like to read the blurb out just to give you some idea of what the, what the, what the game is about. Um, so we're going to have to dive in, 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 inside. Um, but yes, um, Ultra Carbon, the role-playing game, inspired by the Netflix, Netflix original series based upon the novel by Richard K. Morgan. Um, and here we go. Sci-fi has always been one of my favourite genres. I read and watched everything I could. Um, at its core, Ultra Carbon is a cautionary tale of, of, of immortality in the world that's been transfor transformed by new te technology. Consciousness can be digitised. Human bodies are interchangeable. Death is no longer permanent. Okay, um, to, and um, 
Essentially, it's designed for sort of basically ideally two to three players um, plus your plus the referee, um, and it uses a full set of polyhedral dice, um, and um, yeah, um, and yeah. Essentially, uh, Alter Carbon is core as a fusion of two clearly defined genres: cyberpunk and neo noir. Um, discusses this discuss, discusses these in the opening chapters. So cyberpunk it, and its themes, neo noir and transhumanity, and dystopian fiction. Um, before going into um, sort of the background and so on, and um, the nature of the world. Um, it, uh, there's a whole lot of background basically um, presented in here. Uh, explaining who everything is, what various places are, um, but, um, gives you some idea of what the world is like. In basically down on the street, in basically down on the streets of day to day, um, and it is set around um, Golden Great, Golden Gate Bridge, uh, Bay City. Um, so we get on to characters, um, and essentially. Um, what you have uh, is um, six attributes, two of those are, are, are related to the current body or sleeve, the rest are related to the personality. So uh, sleeve um, attribute is strength um, and as is, look, where are we, where are we? Uh, as is perception but empathy, willpower, uh, acuity, intelligence are, um, or, are all um, stack ability, i.e. they come from the cort uh, cortex stack of the character you are playing. Um, but, uh, so, basically it's possible to pick up a, um, but, uh, a default sleeve, it's part of creating your character. Um, um, but, uh, and then we get into baggage essentially baggage is what amounts to the character's backstory whether their past is a creeping element upon the character's present crit characters that are who are still making use of their birth sleeve or the fewer stack points available to use but they will be relatively free from their past coming back to haunt them in a serious way um so uh here we have um essentially typical character um basically it's presented essentially as um a record in the character in, in the game as such and you that explains essentially what the breakup of, uh, sorry the makeup of the character sheet is uh, what's on it um, and there's an explanation alongside it but, uh, so going through essentially we have um, archetypes um, essentially um, which define what the character's been doing up to the point where they start venturing, so civilian, um, criminal, uh, socialite, official, uh, soldier, uh, technician, uh, so on. Uh, and these kind of help basically define the basics of the character. Um, and um, we'll get deeper into the quality of. Um, uh, basically sleeves and bionics and bioware um, just because obviously um, uh, that gets quite complex because essentially in the nature of the game cyberpunk and cyberpunk style games have a lot of technology and it's all very personal so you really need to know how it works um, and the characters have baggage tables so you might have had a situation where um, a character might have been misleaved um, or mistaken identity, the checkered past, and so on. There's a, a full table of uh, which um, uh, a character player can roll, and you can have AI characters as well. Um, so, uh, so there's uh, you've got some artwork taken, obviously taken from the series as well. This is right back at the beginning. Um, So yeah, quite a lot of artwork taken from the book inspired or taken from the TV series. 
And it's interesting that this is coming out at a time when uh, Cyberpunk Red has just been uh, released. Um, that is, I'm going to say, um, which is obviously the major Cyberpunk role-playing game available in the hobby. Most people, when they think of playing Cyberpunk, they will think of that. Um, but there are others um, out there too. Um, So yeah, uh, so right through, um, you have traits as well. Um, people can carry, you can gain um, business and society traits as well. Again, there's something that you should explore as a character. Um, huge variety of traits um, oh, okay. so, so technology traits technology and gear as well the, again it's, it's covering essentially everything you w would really want um, at first glance in a science fiction uh, role-playing game um, so, okay. weapons various kinds um, uh, would, my point would grumble would be uh, these aren't illustrated um, it's always nice when the weapons you um, you want to use some are oh I see okay um, but they're illustrated away from the actual stats so there we go so grumble retracted um, okay so lots of weapons clothing uh, various items of equipment um, campaign guide so uh, whether or not you are a player a noir noir sorry noir style campaign um just covers conspiracies uh heist that kind of thing you've got to t t um, t sample tables action campaigns uh, tables to support that endings and adver adversaries um contacts and so on um how to run networks, uh, basically uh, make contacts and so on, rules for that as well. Um, AI, uh, a city map, and so on. So, yeah, um, that's uh, Altered Carbon. Uh, this is the, the special edition. Um, at, um, based upon the Netflix series, which is based upon the novel. Uh, I will review this in due course. I do have a copy of Cyberpunk uh, Red, which I want to review uh, first. Um, and I've got another uh, Cyberpunk game as well to look at, um, which is a bit smaller. Um, but in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this unboxing, uh, please click on the like button down below. If you have any feedback or uh, comments, please feel free. I do respond. Um, and if you've enjoyed this, please do take the time to subscribe um, and, and basically because that means you'll see more of them. Um, again, thank you for watching another unboxing in the Nook. I will be back soon with another parcel to, um, to open up. Bye for now.